Hello, we're really excited to show to you today our Property Connect app. We're really excited to get you on board and starting to use the app. I want to show you quickly on how to download the application. First of all, you're going to get an invite from our system. You're going to jump onto the Google Play Store or the Apple iTunes Store and click on the link. Once you've got the link and you've set up, you click on the Get On Board button through the application. If you have done this process already, your first option will be then to log into this system. Please note the email address that you will need to use is actually the email address that we have into the system. Now, once we've logged in, this is what you're going to see. Working from the very top of the screen, you'll see who your property manager is. In this case, it's Mark. If we then go down the screen, you'll actually see the address of the property, your bedrooms, your bathrooms, etc. The really cool part as well, up the very top right hand corner is your phone icon and this is how you can contact your property manager. Next to your phone icon, you'll have your messages app. This is where all the messages from internal are going to come to you and you'll receive notification when one of these come to you. Click on one of those messages and then you'll see the content of the messenger and the attachments that are also included into it. Now if we go back to the main screen of it, we've got our blue squares. We can see our blue squares are all the information in regards to your lease. So your lease start date, where your rent's paid up to, when your lease expires, etc. Really easy and quick information for you to access at any stage on the go. And our white buttons down the bottom, we then have our maintenance app. This is really cool and exciting for us and this is how we're going to get all of our maintenance now recorded through. You'll be able to see any open jobs, any closed jobs or any jobs that are cancelled. Up the very top on the right hand corner is a plus button. This is how we actually add into a maintenance request. Click into this. We'll ask for a quick um, ID. So you put in your title, in this case, light switch. And then we put in our quick description. So in regards to the bedroom light has come away from the wall. You can try and submit it, but it will quickly ask you for a photo to be attached as well. So click OK to that. Click on the add image button. It will then ask you to either upload it from your camera roll or you can take a quick photo on site for it. So take a quick photo and attach. From there, you can then hit next and send that off and then all your maintenance requests have been submitted. Your property manager will be able to then keep you up to date in regards to your maintenance request as we're going forward. You'll see the status change. It's been um, allocated to a trades and approved by the owner. From there, if we then go into our next tab, which is our inspections tab, this is where our property visits notifications are actually in. So any ones that are being conducted or completed, you just click through there, confirmed, conducted or cancelled. And you'll be able to keep up to date at any stage on your property visits. Our last one is in regards to documents. This is a really cool tab where you can actually get copies of all your receipts, as well as your lease agreement, copies of your ingoings, key agreements, etc. Right down the bottom of your screen, this is where we generate a tenancy ledger. Any stage you can go far back and create a PDF for you to access at any stage. Generate the report at the end of that. The last button on the screen is your cog button. This is where you can set up all your preferences. You can change your password, you can put, set up your push notifications, etc. This is our tenant app. We're really excited that you have access to it. There are going to be more and more features coming out. We recommend that you jump on board today and download it and just make your life so much easier.